Hey all, uh, Brian here from QuantLabs.net. I want to show you how to uh, install uh, or map uh, a shared drive between a Linux uh, virtual machine, namely in CentOS, as well as uh, your host would be Windows 7. And this is all done through VirtualBox, which is free. So let me show you what I've got. Okay, so if you come into VirtualBox and your uh, virtual machine properties or settings, um, you'll find a shared folder. In this case, I've set a temporary one up called TMP uh, hyphen folder, um, which is essentially uh, this right here. Um, these two, uh, I guess, a test text file and a new folder. Um, so. Um, this TMP folder will be part of what you mount to on the Windows. And essentially, if you follow uh, this link here, um, you download your VirtualBox Guest Editions, um, which can be done. <coughs> to the VirtualBox download area. Uh, in my case, I'm using um, 4.12. Uh, let me just show you about that. Yeah, 4.12 right here. Um, so if I come under um, the, uh, just get the proper uh, settings for you. It's coming under this virtual box download area right here, the uh, URL. Um, using this uh, 4.12, you'll find the VBox editions 4.12 ISO. That needs to be downloaded into your uh, virtual machine, your Linux. So um, if you just go to um, that URL I just showed you in your virtual machine, download it. Uh, in my case, uh, I've got, um, you know, right here under my home directory in the downloads, I've got the that file, uh, the VirtualBox Editions ISO. So what then you need to do is to um, basically make a directory. Um, something like this, mount it. Uh, at the same time, you need to update the kernel, which takes about ooh, quite a while for your uh, virtual machine's uh, OS. Reboot, um, maybe do a yum install in the GCC of these kernel packages. Uh, namely, if, if you don't do any of this properly um, and you don't have the right uh, additions virtual machine uh, virtual box set up for your actual software virtual box you'll get some strange errors one of them is a common one where I'll complain about a current DIR environmental variable not um, found I'm pointing to the right directory um, I use this one right here current directory so if I go back into the virtual machine uh, and I do an echo on that this one um, well either way it will point to uh, or should point to this file right here to this folder okay so once you've got that working then you can go back into your uh, media directory where your uh, virtual box guest editions uh, resides and run this uh, script uh, VBox Linux editions uh, in my case uh, let me just show you that uh, so I'll go back to my home caustic you'll see if I go to the, uh, a temporary where I create an ISO mount uh, directory uh, I guess I didn't do that yet, or maybe I deleted it, but whatever. But you will find that there is a uh, script that you can run called vbox linux uh, editions.run, 
uh, once you run that what will happen is it install the additions obviously and then from there what you do is you remember this folder uh, on my windows TMP um, right here if I go into my virtual machine uh, you need to mount um, using this command right here um, so I've got a make dir temp, sh uh, temp share folder okay and then you can mount to that in your vir virtual box shared folder settings which was this guy right here under your settings uh, this guy right here TMP folder that's what it's referring to so TMP folder right here and it's gonna sync it up in this folder called TMP share folder uh, alright so here we are and if you look and do an LS you'll see those two uh, files I showed you text txt uh, what's it called vi test okay so that that exists so if I create let's say make dir uh, tst or I'm gonna just call it uh, I don't know, junk or something okay and I go back in my windows uh, you'll see we got a new subfolder called junk so they are synced they are mounted in my Linux and the Windows share is working so that's how you do it uh, hopefully I'll help you out